Hello, I'm Jim Wiggins from Syracuse, New York. And I'm his wife, Betsy Wiggins. I am a retired professor from Syracuse University where I taught religion for almost 40 years and then directed an interreligious organization in town called Interfaith Works. And while at SU, I frequently taught a course on religious views of death and dying. And I am a retired speech language pathologist and one of the founders of Women Transcending Boundaries, which is a community building women's interfaith group. We have both had our experiences with cancer in recent years. I am a survivor of adult onset leukemia that I contracted several years ago, and I'm now in a second form of cancer, a form of kidney cancer. I'm being treated for it after being diagnosed about two years ago, and um, so far, the medication is holding it in check, but the prognosis is quite uncertain. And I have a cancer called familial medullary thyroid cancer that I contracted 15 years ago. It's, um, I'm being monitored for it every six months, and last year I developed breast cancer, which I'm being followed for. These experiences have given us m many reasons to uh, discuss together issues of mortality and uh, our views of what dying is like and what might be, how it might be handled. Um, we've been longtime supporters of compassion and choices and uh, we very much have come to the view that supports the notion of medical assistance, seeking medical assistance in uh, dying. Supporters of medical aid in dying are gathering in Albany on May 10th to let legislators know how important this issue is. The legislation is End of Life Options Act and it is authorizing the right to medical aid in dying. We won't be able to be there physically, but we strongly urge you to consider registering to attend and go there and uh, make your views on this matter known. Thank we'll, you very much. We'll be there in spirit and hope that you will be there in person. And you can register online to, to indicate your support for this and that you will try to attend the session in Albany. Thank you.